Hello, I'm Saukki. Earlier I noticed some play in the front suspension of the Quest, and it's similar on both sides. On sharp turns you can feel that there's something going on in the front suspension. Today I'm going to find out what's wrong in there. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscription button below the video. And if you already are a subscriber, click the bell icon so you can get notifications every time I post a new video. Okay, let's get to work. Here you can see that there's definitely something wrong. Okay, so removing the front suspension strut is quite straightforward. Just remove the two nuts here inside the velomobile and then undo the steering rods. And that's it. I've already done a video about this, so you can check it by clicking here. Okay, now I'm having a little bit problem. I don't know if you can see this on the video, but, but the whole strut is rotating when I try to undo this knot. So there's something wrong. Okay, I have to find some way to get it out. Let's see. So it looks like the end of this this rod is bent somehow. Maybe I have hit some potholes or something. So that's why I had to use this jam nut to open the open all the nuts. Now let's undo the steering rods. I think I take the brake cable away also, so it's it's much easier to remove the wheel. This is just going to be a pain in the ass to put back. But let's worry about that later. This is again stuck. So here is the here's the strap. Just take these screws out and now we can see what's wrong with the front suspension. Okay, so it's this one. It's a lot of play. It's quite worn out already. A lot of play here. And then this threaded part is bent. Okay, so let's get some new parts and put this back together. And here I have some new parts. So now I just have to move these foam parts to this new, to this new part. Okay. And now just let's put it back together. There was some thread lock, so maybe I should use that too. Hopefully it's tight enough. They said from velomobile.nl that these parts usually not wear so much. So I can use these old ones. Now let's just put everything back together. Okay, the left side is now done. I think that the right side has similar problems, so let's do that one next. Mm -hmm. 
So this is the right one. The rod is not bent. But here we can see the same play here. So this one is also worn out. Okay, so the both sides are ready now. Only thing left to do is to go for a little test ride. So a quick test ride to see if the maintenance did any difference. It's slippery as hell and it's already getting dark. This time of year in Finland we have only few hours of daylight. I was hoping that maybe I could feel if the, if the front suspension is more stiff now. But because it's, it's very slippery so I, I can't tell. I really can't tell. Slippery and dangerous. And brakes are doing nothing because it's so road is so icy. It may be that I have to wait until spring before I can test this. Because on these icy roads, there's no way I could tell if this is better or not. <laughs> because I don't want to do any sharp turns. But at least the velomobile is still working, so <laughs> everything is fine. But then I also have a few other maintenance things to do. I want to replace the chain. I have a new chain over there. And then last year I put a, a spacer between the rear swing arm and rear cassette because I was trying to eliminate the play on the rear wheel. But the new spacer only causes a lot of problems with the gears. Fucking gears. Fuck. So I think I'm going to put the original spacer back. But those are for another video. Or maybe I'm not doing a video about those at all because I have already done those videos. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. And if you want to see those other maintenance videos, check out this playlist here. Okay. See you in the next video. Bye bye.